Hi, my name's Sally Jackson. Today I'm going to be talking about, briefly, about the development of the bassoon. And I've brought with me today a Baroque, a classical and a modern instrument. This one is one of the earliest uh, models of bassoon. Um, and it was made, uh, it's a copy of, a, of an instrument um, in um, Nuremberg, in a museum in Nuremberg, made by jo Johann Christoph Denner. Now this, this is the bassoon that uh, J.S. Bach would have known uh, and wrote for. As you can see, it's, it's very basic. Uh, it's more like a, a big recorder. The bassoon at the time of, uh, of J.S. Bach was really uh, a bass instrument used to play uh, bass lines in an orchestra. It was used to add colour to the bass line because normally you would have cellos, double basses and a harpsichord. The bassoon added colour coming in and out. Um, it sometimes just played the bass line on its own with two oboes. Um, just, just, just adding variety to it really. It didn't really have um, a solo function in the orchestra. People were writing concertos for it, but at that time it really was um, used just, just for playing bass lines. And you can see on this, this uh, bassoon that it has a really good tone down the bottom. <laughs> Now this, this bassoon I brought along here is, is 100 years later and as you can see it actually is starting to look a little bit more similar to, to the modern one. This bassoon is, is around about 1800. Um, it would have been uh, familiar to Mozart later, later on in his life and certainly for Beethoven. They, they, this would have been their modern instrument. This was made by um, Heinrich Grenzer, who was the major instrument maker of the 1800s. Uh, he was very popular. A lot of his bassoons were, were made, and there are around 50 remaining in the world. By this point, people were starting to write in the orchestra. They were, they, they were, the reason that the whole thing developed was people were starting to realise that they could write for the bassoon and that they could write solos within an orchestral context. So. Um, it became more of a um, less bassy. This 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 is great down, as I said, down at the bottom, but but this is better towards the top now. So it's it's more of a sort of tenor um, instrument. <laughs> Uh, the modern one here is is one that you would all recognise if if you if you know about the orchestra. Um, it has around 26, 27 keys on it. Um, the, orca the the bassoon is the bass instrument in the woodwind family, and there are usually two of these. You would see two uh, usually at the back of the orchestra. There's so much key work on this on the modern one now. When you compare it to the earlier ones, whilst it's made life a lot easier in many ways, 